Hello Secret Vault, we're doing the Newbury area today. I'm here with Kayleigh Colston. I can't show her because her car's there and we don't do that. But we are at a little place that's got, um, uh, it's next to a quarry and it's next to the Kennet River. Hasn't got any windows. And we're gonna go and check it out now and have a look. It's probably gonna take about three minutes, but you know we love abandoned, so let me are. And if I point up in the air, it's safe to, like, <laughs> There she, there she is. Sorry, no car. I won't have to edit it now. <laughs> Cars. But uh, yeah, here we go, folks. Whoa. Somewhere in here, I think. It was. Or still is, maybe. Oh, Christ, where is it? It's what, an airbag trail? Yeah, I, I swear you could actually see it from the road, but. I mean, it's definitely coming in here because it was locked. So yeah. Yeah. I've seen it's going to be through this bit, but I don't want to. God. I don't know whether they've actually knocked. There's a tiny little shelf up in there. I don't know if they've knocked it down. There's nothing in that clearing. Um, I swear you could see it from the road. Is it worth walking up that way then? Oh, it looks like something's been sort of like levelled. Yeah, I think they might have knocked it down to be honest. Yeah, doesn't look good. We can go down the... Yeah, keep it going. Go down the uh, the thing. So yeah, it's a proper working quarry. I wonder why they need that there. We're right next to the River Kennet and all the boats and canal barges and whatnot. Looks quite nice. That's uh, the building up there is for Harrods. Harrods have got their warehouse. So, hey, there's the River River Kennet. But I swear we should have been able to see that from the road. Yeah. I think this does not bode well. Must have gone in the last couple of years then, because uh, the Google streetcar information still shows it. Yeah. Unless it's that big pile of rubble, right? Hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you now on the street maps, just show you that it, it, it yeah. looks like it's still here on the street maps, so. The house was meant to be here, and you could see it from these, see it from this. So if you go to street view, there, that's where it was meant to be. So, gone, fail. I have failed you, Anakin. I have failed you. Yeah, it's there. It's not there now. Oh well. Still nice and scenic. Yeah, we'll go to oh, the next one. Fun. Yeah. Some fun, Matt. Yeah, fancy some, fancy some fancy <laughs> some uh, arse cancer, yeah. That's it. A bit dirty. Ugh, God. Shots, get some get some bloody uh Just don't eels. The water. Eels <laughs> eels up my arse. Could be quite nice. That sounds nice actually, I was gonna say we should jump in. I think if I told Jordan he'd be down here in a flash. <laughs> <laughs> And yeah, for the trolls who keep saying this, this is indeed three minutes of your life you are never getting back. Deal with it. Select donation amount. It's a donation. Oh, so you don't have to the ticket? I don't know. It says select donation amount, so... Like that. Let's see if the... Uh, the cafe is open. Oh, it's open. It says open. Um, you open today? Yeah, well. Brilliant. Yeah, long. Yeah, hope you're all good. Yeah, hope you're good, hope. Yeah, hope you're all good. Can I go now? Yeah. Well, zero by, zero by, zero by, zero by. Yeah, I think we're going to start. Well, zero by. Hmm. Screams. Do 
Chips and crisps. No, you put okay, thanks. Yeah. Is it, are we able to go upstairs for the observation desk? Brilliant, thank you. I mean, I must, I must have been here about five times over the last ten years and I've never managed to find this place open. The first time I've managed to get it open. <laughs> Great. Yeah, yeah, I'm just filming the, like, go up the stairs. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to have drinks on that first, or? Should be right. Okay. Thank yeah. you, though. Yeah. Brilliant. Thanks. Can we speak your camera? Uh, yeah, your camera's not back. Uh. Yeah, see the little sign says don't take your food upstairs because it is a museum and of course I didn't realise that but yeah, it is me. You know, I don't always read the signs, do I? Yeah. Oh. Lottery funded, funded by gambling. Oh my God. Amazing. Yeah. Maybe she was implying that we shouldn't go up there with drinks. <clears throat> Ooh. Oh yes. Wow. Green in common. It's where all the peace protesters were all. Right. So they've got um, a little. We wanted to go up here for years, so I thought, oh, I'll get a ladder and I'll just climb up here. <laughs> Heavy security door. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Amazing. Look at this, folks. Woo! It was worth coming. Because if we if we gone to the other place, we would never have got to see this. This is way better. Yeah. So the the runway would have gone all the way down there, and it's been returned now to being grassland. So people come here and walk their dogs, and uh, what you can see over there, hidden away, hidden away a little bit. If we zoom in, can we get um, somewhere where there's no reflection? So that's better. You can see it's quite well hidden, but over there are the, the nuclear silos, which is where they would have kept the, um, the cruise missiles, which would have bang, just like gone. So that's, uh, can you see those um, missile things there? Um, oh, what the hell? The, yes, yeah. the, that's where they would have driven the vehicles in that had the missiles on the back, and then the, the doors sort of come up and then they're locked in place. Mm -hmm. So that was supposed to be sort of like, you know, that That's a water tower. Okay. Yeah, there used to be a baseball, uh, baseball thing for the American because it was an American air base. Yeah. But the thing is, as well, if you watch Star Wars, uh, one of the new Star Wars movies, they land the, um, uh, the the Millennium Falcon over in the corner on the right-hand corner. They land the Falcon really? there, and they get out, and they all looking around, um, and it's all dressed up, you know. And, and I think there's like a, there's another moon in the sky right. above them. But can you go into it? Can you like go over there and visit? You you would have to jump over the fence. I've been in there, but right. it's uh, it's not an easy one. Right. But like that's not easy. But yeah, this is from StarWarsNewsNet.com, and you can see a Millennium Falcon. You can just see the edge of the Gamma doors there, and uh, Falcon and the Gamma roof and edge doors there, edge of the Gamma doors there. They've even put these like tree branches on it. Um, you can definitely see the silo doors there. And uh, yeah, lots and lots of busy activity at Greenham Common when they were filming for Star Wars. Quite interesting. Oh yeah, yeah, it's all roaming horses around here. Oh, amazing. So, uh, so how yeah. So how did you find out about this place then? Oh God, I mean, it's, it's very famous because of all the peace protesters. I mean, they, they used to sort of be hanging around on that side of the base over there. Oh, I see. Um, putting themselves in the front of, uh, you know, the base and stopping vehicles coming in and out and they used to constantly be jumping over the fence and going into that nuclear area and they'd be arrested, taken out.
So, uh, yeah. Stunning, isn't it? it is nice, isn't it? And it's nice and cool as well, which I wasn't expecting. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, it's got a control tower of sorts. Well, this, what about this? Well, that's a recreation of the original desk. Mm. Um, computer software and showing the same information we would have got from the radar and the, and the weather station here, and supplied by loads of electronics below. Right. Now in two little boxes. And, um, yeah. This will go on my YouTube channel. Are you alright if I sort of film you, or you'd rather not be on film? Oh. Don't mind. Oh, I don't mind. You don't mind. Oh, there we are. There he is. He doesn't mind, folks. Look. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. Well, it looks it looks very good up here. Got a great view. But uh, one can only imagine what it was like when it was operational because this would have been one of the most secure places in the United Kingdom and, uh, you know, nuclear weapons just over there. You wouldn't want to be sort of caught in the wrong place. But uh, those, those peace protesters certainly used to pee them off, didn't they? <laughs> Jumping over the fences all the time. <laughs> yeah. And there's, there's even some existing bunkers still over there. Um, there's a building which has a bunker in the end of it, which I've been in, and there's also a little square building which is a, a bunker too. So, yeah, we've had quite a few people through. This is the main control desk. Um, so, so uh, still some stuff around. Oh, I'm just loving the air conditioning. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to stay here for a while, I think. Just just in, right here. I'm not going to move. Right. Oh, goodness. That is good, actually. So, I like, I've got air conditioning in my room as well. It's like, I'm going to get some in. Get some in. Kaylee's loving it, look. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good, isn't it? This is uh, so cool. Yeah. I've never been to something like this before, I don't think ever. Mmm. Just can't get over the view. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'd love to watch a storm from up here. Mmm. So what's the building over there then? In the, uh, front well, room? that's all the buildings that used to be part of the airbase. So the airbase was mostly on that side. Oh, okay. And uh, a lot of it's been, you know, taken over by industry now. Yeah. The main building there is a pickle factory. So, oh, yeah. right. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look, they've got the, the CND logo. Is uh, it's the table here? So. I can't say. Show two sides to the story. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do they ever sort of do any tours for the public over in the Gamma Thanks. site across the road? But, oh, thank you. Because it's, um, it's a heritage site, isn't it? They, they can't very, get rid of it. Yeah, it's going back to being uh, classed as an ancient monument. Mm. It's privately owned by predominantly vehicle storage companies on that side as well. Yeah. Car vehicle storage on that side. I don't think there's um, anything held inside them. It's become important for bats. Mm -hmm. and, <laughs> and yeah, you were saying about the Star, Star Wars. Wars well, yeah. And, and there was even a movie called The Machine I saw years ago as well, and that was filmed there. They put um, searchlights on the top, and then they were sort of like, uh, like as if it was a jail sort of thing, you know, and they were sort of, yeah. Yeah, The Machine. It's a good movie, actually. It's about artificial intelligence, and, uh, yeah. So that's a good one. Wow. Amazing. Yeah, so the only original um, aircraft handles that one of the Oh, that one there, is it? Yeah. Right. And a little bit of light... Concrete in front is the only remaining bit of runway. So um, which bit's that then that I can't see? A little bit of runway, that bit over there. Yeah, so there's the aircraft hangar, then there's a lot yeah. of land in front. That is actually the tarmac, and it's yeah. the last bit of remaining runway. So. Yeah, it was one of the one of the largest runways in Europe, wasn't it? And yeah. I think they could have even uh, landed the space shuttle here in an emergency. Yeah, there were talk could have been saved by Concorde if it had been kept flying because mm. it had been used as a backup to Heathrow. Yep. And, uh, but the world took against Concorde and, uh, mm. and they decided not to um, use this for the space shuttle. Mm. 
that uh, yeah, young lad must be quite fit running around in this heat today. Yeah, I think he's been, <laughs> he's been working here. Volunteer. Yeah, he is. And, yeah. Uh, Hot walk home. <laughs> Lively, yeah. Lively one, yeah. Cool. Right. Um, is it is it best to sort of go downstairs and have our drink and food, or is it, we can't really have it up here, I suppose? We're not supposed to. Not no. supposed to, no. Okay, fair enough. Right, well, we're going to head off downstairs. Yeah. Get somewhere where it's nice. A nice cream. A nice cream, yeah. <laughs> Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. So anybody wants to come here, check out the times, because it's not always open. It's sort of like 10 o'clock in the morning till 3.30 on some days, but um, not all days. So if you fancy coming to give it a, give it a look. Remember, this is another museum room, I think. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this is uh, probably something to do with the peace, peace protesters. That must take an to make that. Hmm. Oh, is that, uh, is that Ganesh? Is that yeah. Yeah. Wow. Maybe look out the window, look, there's one of there. Is that one of the missile things? Oh, yeah, so some sort of bomb or... Hmm, yeah, it looks like a bomb. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I never knew about this place. Yeah. Never heard of it. Oh, So many years get to see this place and eat an ice cream. Sit in here, or oh, yeah, oh just, we're going to see the bomb. Can sit there. <laughs> the bomb. Oh, this is lush. Yeah. There we are, folks. I'm not sure it looks as big as me. It's a boom, a boom, folks. It's boom. Mm. The Algerine float. It's a float. It was towed behind Royal Navy ships, which were transported um, the complex equipment to locate and neutra neutralize powerful underwater explosive devices. Oh, wow. Yeah. Why is it green? Why it's at Green Common remains a mystery. It says, <laughs> as it has no connection with aviation activities. Well, it just ended up here. Mm. Perhaps to make it look like a bomb, but we really don't know why. So it's on that loan. So strange. Mm. It's on loan, apparently. Kind of cool though. Yeah. Got like a, is that a memorial thing in front of you? Probably, yeah. B-17 bombers. So yeah, this this was a uh, wartime uh, airfield as well as being upgraded to the nuclear capacity. 1942-1945. Yeah, B-17 bombers. And I think that thing there, Horsa, was a glider. Yeah. And um, if anyone can see it, it was the gliders that they used to make these very quickly and cheaply and they would tow them up behind other aircraft. So what they would do is they would tow them towards yeah. the, the edge of France and then they'd let them off and they would glide would into France. <laughs> yeah, well, they, they'd have about, they'd have, a, they'd have about 100 people in there and somebody just trained to glide, you know, glide across the channel. Oh God, how'd you land it? You just sort of put it in a field and it'll never fly again. That's it. Once it landed, it's it's landed. So you can basically crash it into a field if you so want. What's the landing like? Uh, probably a bit bumpy. Yeah. <laughs> they weren't designed to be, uh, yeah, very good aircraft. They were just designed to sort of uh, get people onto the ground and never fly again. 
There it is, folks. Oh, I'm gonna have me, uh, me feast now. Here's the control tower. Great, eh? Yeah. So, there we are. So, off to the next place now. So, thanks for watching. Check out Kaylee Colson Explores. Uh, don't like, don't subscribe. And uh, remember not to insert these sideways into uh, body cavities because, um, you know, one way only, not that way, not sideways. Yeah, only vertical. Yeah. <laughs>